Well, good afternoon, my beautiful, blessed people. Wanted to do a short talk about distracted preaching as it relates to um, diversion of the Word of God and divination. And um, I'm going to read a couple of scriptures to kind of start things off with a little bit. Um, Romans, the 16th chapter, verses 17 through 18 where uh, Paul is talking about uh, false prophets as well as false doctrines, as well as um, being uh, uh, aware of uh, these individuals who are causing division in the body of Christ. Romans 16 chapter, chapter 16 verses 17 through 18. Uh, this is Paul's letter to the Romans. I appeal to you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught. Avoid them. For such persons do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites, and by smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the hearts of the naive. Uh, let's go to Ezekiel. 13 chapter verses 6 through 7. They are falsehood and lying divination who are saying the Lord declares when the Lord has not sent them, yet they hope for the fulfillment of their own word. Did you see a false vision and speak a lying divination when you said the Lord declares, but it was not a word that I have spoken? Again, did you see a false vision and speak a lying divination when you said, The Lord declares, but it is not I who have spoken, thus said the Lord. Leviticus, the 20th chapter, verse 6. As for the person who turns to mediums and to spiritists to play the harlot after them, I will also set my face against that person and will cut off him who will cut him off from among his people. And I will have in the description box um, other chapters that in, in scriptures that you can reference to this. So let's let's kind of get to it. Why is there distraction and um, division coming from preachers as well as church leaders? Because here's the thing. There are many, many leaders who create a platform to distract the attention from the wrongdoings, from the word of God, and uh, they divert away from the actual truth. As you've heard me say previously, they create distractions to take the attention off of themselves and the things that they have done, as well as to mislead the people of God. All right. So let's just kind of go through it a little bit. Let's talk about the spirit of divination in itself. People with the spirit of diversion will always have an excuse, but it's all to ignore the deeper truth about themselves. Or they will twist the truth and turn the truth on you to say something to the effect of such. Oh, but you too, brother. You need to check yourself too. Or some people use the common term, Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Um, other terms that they will use, other sayings. It's all about us, not just me. And this spirit, spirit of divination, creating a diversion, it basically, it distracts um, from what they're actually all about. And it guards their darkness. And not only that, but we have to remember that Jesus is the light of the world. Not Satan, but that Jesus is. And so a lot of them will uh, 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 create this distraction, this diversion, so that it will uh, allow their darkness to shine through and try to overshadow the light, which Jesus is the light. People like this will come into church with a huge smile on their faces, but there's another face on their heart. Many of you are experiencing that right now. You have been deceived by so many. They smile. They do all types of things. And um, 
you find out later nothing could be further from the truth. Let's carry on. That spirit that they hide shows lack of transparency and puts on a mask so that the person can hide their real self. They speak nice, pleasant words. They even pray, preach, sing, dance, but everything or some of the things that they do are just like fig trees so no one else can see their real selves. So no one will uh, ask a question as to what's up with that or correct them or rebuke them. This is what they do. They will comment, share, or post on your social media page, but carries no weight. So the comments that they're making is just all false. It's just to uh, cover up who they really are. They're doing it to please you and divert you so that your eyes are off them. And this is the sin of witchcraft. Let me uh, kind of uh, reiterate a little bit about what happened to Paul. Paul and uh, the disciples, they were they were traveling and in, uh, in a region. And um, Paul was preaching the word and uh, there was this woman, a certain woman who was a medium who kept trying shouting out that these are uh, men uh, who serve the most high God. She kept doing it over and over and over again. So what she was doing was distracting from the word of God. She was literally trying to distract Paul. Paul's discernment, his discernment. She was trying to distract us, so Paul got sick of it. And Paul turned around and rebuked her. He called her out. He called that spirit out of her, and that spirit actually, it left her. People, we have to, we have to be very mindful and very careful about the things that we're dealing with and uh, recognize these spirits. And it's important that you do. This is why it's important for you to read the word of God so that you are, you're made aware and you can see what's going on. All right. These same people who divert uh, and create division, um, they, they do this and it's a very, very strong form of divination. And they will even go as far as using their emotions. They'll cry uh, to get you focused off of what God has uh, you reproaching in them. And uh, they'll do that. Again, this is witchcraft. This is a form of witchcraft. And it also creates a diversion. This is also so you can feel bad for them and see another person in them that's not really there. They will try to flatter or say nice things to you while trying to dull your discernment so that you cannot see other spirits or uh, hidden spirits that are operating in them. For example, the Jezebel. The Jezebel flatters you so that you can fulfill her agenda and that evil spirit can operate in both men and women. So it's not just uh, 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 taken on females it operates in men as well all right and just know that god sees everything that they're trying to cover up because they're trying to divert god and by doing their diversion they are rejecting god and here's the thing to always remember and this is one of the things that they do this is so common when they're creating uh trying to divert uh you away from who they really are uh, creating a distraction. Here's how you know. If God sends someone to you to help you and speak a word to you and you reject it or divert it, you are doing it to God because it came from God's heart and you reject and divert God's heart. And just know that, that God will destroy spirits of divination and all of its diversions. Just know that. I'm going to leave uh, some more scriptures for you in the description box. Um, Leviticus uh, chapter 19 verses 26 through 31. Deuteronomy 18 chapter verses 9 through 14. Jeremiah 14 chapter 14 verse. And Jeremiah 29 chapter 8 through 9. All right. All right, wonderful people, thank you so much for tuning in today. I pray that this has been a word that will resonate with you and that you will continue to seek God's confirmation on any of these messages that I have. All right.
Because remember, these are his word and God's word is true. Thy word, thy word, holy Lord, is a lamp into my feet, a light into my path. Father in heaven, I pray that today that someone will be delivered from the spirit of divination. I pray that those uh, who you have used or are using as a vessel, that they will be obedient to your word, Lord, and not allow the enemy to come in to distract them or to divert them or to cause confusion. And so that they will be taken away from your true word. Lord, we thank you for this day. We give you glory, praise, and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Wonderful people, have a wonderful and a blessed day. God bless you.